Yes, let our leaders quickly attend to them. As many as are coming out to give testimony up there in the gallery, if you, are, you have tested, you have checked, and you have seen that the Lord has done it, come to the front of the hall where you are. Let the leaders identify them and then interview them. And then let's get them lined up so we can begin to listen to the testimony. Check up quickly, check up quickly. And in all the places, in all the locations where we are connected, please check up. We want to hear your testimony. We want to hear your testimony through the internet connection and through the Zoom connection. You will share your testimony to God's glory. You must be grateful to God for what he has done. Don't run away without testifying of the miracle of God. Be that one that came out of ten. Where are the nine? The nine left without coming to give testimony. You should be the one out of the ten that will come and give your testimony. And your miracle will increase. And your miracle will multiply. And more blessings will flow into your life. Come out quickly. We are expecting our leaders to please attend to such, interview them, and then let us know those who have received the miracle. Up there in the gallery, let's have uh, some of the leaders to attend to those who might be there. First gallery, second gallery. You want to share a testimony? Please get in touch with our leaders so they can interview you. God has done it. Keep on checking. Check. It has happened. The Lord has done it. The miracle has happened. You should be grateful to God by coming out to share your testimony. Don't keep it to yourself. We must share the testimony to the glory and praise of our Father. And let all the locations get ready for their testimonies because we will connect very soon. Uh, please get in touch with our brethren who are in charge through the Zoom and through the internet. Get in touch with those who are in charge so they can identify you where you are and so that we can begin to share and we begin to hear the testimony. And the brethren in the media section, please give us the notification of those who want to share testimonies. We want to share, we want to hear what the Lord has done Come out quickly. As we get them interviewed, please let them come to the front of all four and all five that I'm, where I'm pointing to now. All four, all five. All four, all five. Those who have been interviewed should come to the front of all four and all five. And the, the media crew, please Begin to check all the locations and let us know the locations that have testimony. We want to hear what God has done. All the locations, get ready with your testifier. We want to hear what God has done. The Lord has worked wonders already. Simply believe the report. Believe the report. The miracle is there already. The Lord has worked it out. Miracle of salvation. All our iniquities laid upon Christ. You receive your salvation tonight. You should come out and give your testimony. And the Lord, by his stripes, we are healed. By the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. It is done. Believe that report. It is done. Believe that report. And the testimony, the, the, the manifestation is there. We are, waiting, we are waiting for the testimony. We are waiting for the testimony. If the media section is ready with some from various locations, we can start from there. We can start from here. We can start from any of those locations that are ready. Please let us know the locations that are ready. Get us informed. Let us have the information. Come quickly. If you are up there in the gallery, come down to the front of all four and the front of all five where I'm pointing to now, if you want to share any testimony, 
please come to the front of hall four and hall five. If you are up there, come down quickly, please. Come to the front of hall four, hall five. There you'll be attended to, and there you will share your testimony. Yes, we are waiting. We are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. Somebody is already standing, but we are waiting for others. Yes, quickly, quickly, quickly come. And the media section, we want to also get information from your end. Yes, we are waiting. Check yourself. The miracle has been done. The Lord has done it. The miracle has happened. Believe the report. The man of God has prophesied and has declared it and has prayed for you. Miracle. Power. It's there. Believe it and don't keep it to, it to yourself. Come out and testify to the glory of God and to encourage the faith of others. Shall we start? Are we ready there? The first testifier. You tell us your name and tell us where you come from, what the problem was, and what the Lord has done for you. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Monday. I'm safe. Um, since almost last week ago, I was left. I will have an attack in my neck. For me to turn the neck is very hard for me. But the special grace of God, as the man of God pray, as right now I will lay my heart there. I say, God, I know what to hear this pain. After the man of God finished the prayer, the pain now is gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The pain has gone. And it's gone forever in Jesus' name. Everybody put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. The problem on the neck, the stiffness, the pain, the affliction, gone and gone forever in Jesus' name. We want to hear your own testimony. Don't hide it. Don't hide the miracle of God. Don't hide the blessing the Lord has uh, given to you. And uh, all in all the other locations, please check them up, get them ready, and then with connection through Zoom, we want to hear the testimony. The media section, please get us informed. Let's listen to the next one. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Margaret Okoli. I came with a swollen neck when I was coming. It was difficult for me to even look aside like this. I couldn't look. I couldn't turn. My ear is as if there is a block in my ear. But now, after the last amen, I am free. Praise the Lord. She is free. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Free from the bondage of the devil. The swollen neck, the pain, the difficulties in turning, everything, everything, gone. She is free. She is delivered. And the blessing is permanent in Jesus' name. The blessing is permanent in Jesus' name. Yes, you are sitting down there. The miracle has happened. Don't keep it to yourself. Come and give God the glory. Be the one out of the ten lepers that came back and gave God the glory. Don't be in the company of the nine that didn't show gratitude to the great God that gave them great miracle. Now, we are waiting from the media section, media crew. Let's get information as to the locations that have miracle. Once we get that, we will also slot them in. Let's listen to the next one. Next testifier, please. We need our interpreter, please. Our interpreter, please come quickly. Also, interpreter, you are needed. And while we are doing this, check yourself, check yourself, and come out to share a testimony. Yes, she can go on. Akwai last message na anyi lokacin Babam yayi adua 
na warke ya sake ya taba ni kuma yau na ba da gaskiya rasu sake zuwa ba a cikin sunan Yesu Praise the Lord do we have the interpreter there now quickly Yes sister you can please quickly interpret Praise the Lord what I have sister testify, she testify I have the Lord's uh, torture and deliver from bad dreams. There was a time she, she has a nice meal and uh, the Lord deliver her. And today the Lord touch her perfectly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has healed her. She's healed. She's delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. And you know, as God is as God is working here, God is working outside here, and is working even in private homes as people are connecting through the internet. Now there is somebody, somebody in his house that was connected to this program through the internet, and the person has sent in the testimony through the internet and our media section. We'll read out that testimony now before we listen to another one down here. And all the other locations, please, get connected through Zoom. We want to hear your testimony. Let's hear the testimony now as it's read out from the media section. His name is Igwe Chika. His name is Igwe Chika. Igwe Chika from Lube said, he couldn't come to church because of pains in his leg but after the prayers of the pastor he discovered that he can lift his legs he tested and found out that the pains have disappeared praise the lord lord god of miracle right in his house he couldn't come to church but connected through the internet and the power of God located him right there. Amen. Amen. And all who are connected to us, this is, a, this is a challenge to you. If you have any challenge there, if you have any miracle that you desire from the Lord, this testimony should encourage you. God located that individual back in his house despite the fact he couldn't come physically. And you should also believe through the internet, either YouTube or Twitter or Facebook or WhatsApp or whatever means by which you are connected, your miracle is right there with you, you will testify. And all such others that have received their miracle, quickly send in a text message or send in your um, email or send in your uh, whatever means by which you can send your message to us. We want to hear, we want to glorify God with you. Let's listen to another one here very quickly. Tell us your name, where you come from, and the problem, and what God has done. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Nathaniel Atole. I'm from Lugwe region, Kaladimawa group. My testimony is that last week, I woke up with a very sharp pain in my chest, touching through my back. I even, on Monday, during the Bible study, I couldn't stand. If I stand, I'll start feeling the pain. I'll go and sit down. If I sit, I'll start feeling the pain. At the point, it was pushing me to sleep. Well, I've, been just, I've just been taking that pain from last night, even today. But I didn't discover when the pain left me. Even when the choruses was going on, I was dancing. I didn't discover the pain had gone. But it was during the prayer, after the prayer, and I said, I'm not feeling that pain again. I checked. I checked after the prayer. The pain is gone. The if pain I, is gone. The, the pain I can't bend before. I can bend now. My wife knows about this. Amen. The pain is gone and gone forever in Jesus' name. All pains, all affliction, all oppression from the devil have been rolled away from the life of our brother and it has happened to you as well. Just check it up and believe. And believe the report. The miracle has been done, has been performed and you will testify. We want to hear your testimony from the media section. From Birning Kebi. Birning Kebi. From Birning Kebi. Go ahead. 
the testimony is from Kaduna State, particularly Kachia. We now link up to Kachia in Kaduna State. My name is Sister Holiness Samuel. By the grace of God, I'm safe. I want to appreciate the Lord for what he has done for me this evening. Last night, I couldn't sleep because of body pain. I went, I woke up this morning, I told my husband, I'm not feeling okay, so he called the doctor on phone. The doctor now said he should carry me to the hospital. When we went to the hospital, they run some tests on me. The doctor looked at me this, uh, this morning, and he said, I'm looking so pale. He doesn't know what's wrong with me, because after the, they run some tests on me, they said there is nothing, they couldn't find anything. He just prescribed some drugs for me, I went home. When I went home, my husband was asking me, will I be able to attend the program? I said, I don't know. But my mind was just, I was so struggled that I have to attend this program. So I took my drugs, I dressed for the choir practice, I ran, to, we now came down to the church. I was there walking up and down, but I knew, I knew in me that I am not feeling okay. My body was paining me. So after the message from our daddy, I, I felt so relieved. When the moderator was saying we should check ourselves, I couldn't check myself inside the church. I went outside, I touched my body, I touched every part of my body. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling any pain in my body. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And let everybody shout, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Way. Many kilometers away, the Lord God Almighty working miracle here is working miracle in various other places. Amen. There's a second testimony from Kachia, still from Kachia in Kaduna State. We link up again. Second testimony from Kachia. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sunana Sister Lami, in our Kachia region, Kaduna State. Then, dear Mama, open kitty, now do kaka open kitty. God do kabunde eke mo awa nandunia. Praise the Lord. Shed and go, dear Nashina Chewa, in our Ji Tunjia, send Jikapana Kama Alura Nana Sukemi. The Gahaka dinner. Sena je kwantia bo se yi an kwanta da kyau ba ina zan tashi sadan sa dota na te te kama ni te daga to yi ona gaba kidiya na ce kai to ya zan yi da raina ya zan yi da raina ce Allah ka taimake ni zan zo fellowship wannan so na zo wannan fellowship ina zo ne san ina ji jikina da an fara addu'a babo mu ya fara addu'a sai na ji Jikina chiki ne dui na ne kafa fudin na jik duka yana wani iri yana dame ni de yawa na se ezak fita jikina yau nang praise the Lord aha kadi na ubengi ting ala ya do kemo wana damu ading zente na gir mama ubengi ti de duka ya rana tu inde si ke ubengi ti ala za Jesus ye do ke du damu su achikun sona Jesus yende ubengi ti ala ya mu zai ma kwa achikun sona Jesus. Amen. Let's Thank have the Lord. interpretation quickly. Romo tena tafito daga kachia kachia region a can Kaduna. A wurin ta ga mana cewa. Our sister have testified telling us that she's from Kachia region in Kaduna state. What she testify about is that the she had a, a problem it's like uh, needles were choking her everywhere and she could not be able to have rest. She did all that she could do, but eventually there was no solution. So at the time, her husband asked her, are you coming for this program? She said she doesn't know. But eventually during the program, she managed to come. As she was doing what she could do, she could not do. When the man of God finished the prayer, she find out that all those needles that were choking her and pains all disappeared. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. All the needles, afflicting needles of the devil were removed by the mighty power of God. All the way from Kashir. The Lord God of miracle working here. He's working there and he's working there and he's working all over in all the states and all the locations. Miracles, miracles in Jesus' name. Amen. We have some other working we're within down here. Maybe media section. One more before we switch over to this place. All right, glad you're getting ready. Let's have one from here. Praise the Lord. My name is Goodness Anazia. I'm from Wuse Group, Municipal District. My testimony is how God healed me. Yesterday, I discovered that my, the wrist of my right hand was paining me, serious pain, that I couldn't move it, I couldn't bend it. To even lift things up was extremely painful. But while the man of God was praying for us, I just laid my hand on it and I prayed. And then after the prayer, I was just trying to move the hand. I discovered that the pain has eased up. So as I was even coming down to testify, I now found that all the pain have gone and my hand is free. I can bend it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It eased up, eventually gone. Totally gone. Completely gone. God. Amen. One more. One more before we round up. One more testimony. And you will give your own tomorrow. I say you will give your own tomorrow. Yes. Praise the Lord. My grace on God, I'm Sister Victoria Oye. I'm from Kubwa region. Overcomers group and Zion District. For almost two weeks now, I've been having a severe pain on my right thumb. To leave something has become a problem. If I, I, I want to take something, this thing eventually touch, it will just twist it and the pain was very severe. This morning when I was preparing, I prayed and I told God, I'm going for this uh, program. I know I'm coming with a series of challenges, but this particular one is like a minute something because something you can do, you, you can do in a minute, in a moment of time. When the crisis was going on, I couldn't clap normally. I was just using my finger to tap at the other, other, other hand. But after the prayers, behold, the, pro, the pain have gone. I could clap my hands normal without any problem. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Amen! The pain that was hindering her from being able to clap while worshiping and praising the Lord, the pain that the devil had put there to prevent her from being able to use her hand well, the pain is gone and gone forever. Never to come back again in Jesus' name. All other pains, all other affliction in the body of anyone, they are also gone. Tomorrow you are coming to give your testimony. Sorry you are not coming here except for those who are worshipping here. You are meeting our brethren who are uh, from uh, Abuja. You are going to be in your other location. And you will give your testimony there, and we can connect to you also by Zoom, and you will testify in Jesus' name. A bigger amen. A louder amen. No doubt the Lord has started with us showers of blessing. This is just the beginning, and back in our various locations, back in our various uh, districts and groups, the mighty God of heaven will locate us. And those who are connecting with us through the internet, you will not be left out. You had the testimony of tonight. Somebody who couldn't come physically, right in his room, the power of God touched him. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, send them WhatsApp messages today. Send them Twitter messages. Use your Facebook. You talk, send text messages and let them hear that something great is, a, is happening. Those who cannot come physically to wherever uh, they may be near us, let them join us on the internet and be part of the miracle and the blessing of God. And they will testify and the name of the Lord will be glorified in Jesus' name. A bigger amen. Let's be punctual in our various locations. Tomorrow, what time?